Back now, 835 with today's consumer. So when it comes to the real estate market right now, should you buy, should you sh sell, or should you hold? A lot of people are facing that choice. And here with some answers is NBC's business, uh, our, our business correspondent, Brian Chung. Brian, it's good to see you. Okay, Great. so there is a tiny bit of good news yeah. if you're looking at median prices. What are you saying? Yeah, we'll take what we can get, right? A lot of okay. home buyers have been on the sidelines kind of peeking out saying, eh, is now the time to buy? Yeah. Well, good news because home prices are coming down. And we're also seeing mortgage rates come down okay. as well. So the median home price is over $380,000, according to the National Association of Realtors. That's down 1% from November and lines up with reporting that we've seen from other reports like the S&P CoreLogic as well, showing prices sliding into the end of mm -hmm. last year. One important caveat I want to point out, even though prices are going down, they're still above on a yearly basis. Mm. This about 4% higher than the year prior. So that's baby steps that baby we're Baby steps, but again, we'll take what we can get. Prices coming down as prices coming down. Okay. What matters, and everyone knows when you're buying a house, is <laughs> yeah. location, location, location. Absolutely. So what's the best spots to yeah, look at so right now? Look, median prices are coming down, but it depends on where you're looking at. So I'll tell you what's hot and what's not. So what's hot? Uh, we're looking at Detroit and San Diego, where prices are up over 8% on a okay. yearly basis. People moving into those cities, snatching up homes. But areas that are cooler, Seattle and San Francisco. Uh, in fact, these markets, we've seen even price declines between October and November, over 1% in each of those areas. And by the way, S&P CoreLogic saying that the western United States broadly has seen some of the coolest housing markets relative to the rest and of the San country. And San Fran, the, just the real estate numbers are insane, aren't it they? It is. Yeah. Very interesting to watch. We'll see if that develops over 2024. All right, let's step down. Down to our yeah. last panel. What about uh, mortgage rates? They've been high lately. I think they were 7%. They dropped to 6%. Yeah. But remember back in the day when they were 3%? <laughs> are we going to see anything I remember like when, just a few yeah. years ago, right? Well, the 30-year fixed rate right now is 6.7%. That's down from 7.8% just in October of last year. And uh, since I'm the data guy, let me crunch those numbers yeah. down into what the savings would be on a monthly basis. So okay. that one percentage point drop in mortgage rates would equate to about $200 in savings. Again, this would be the equivalent payment for the same median home sale uh -huh. price. So again, holding that equal mortgage rate changes, you're going to save over $220 per month over the course of a 30-year mortgage. That's going to save you somewhere over above $80,000. So this is real-time savings, and we're expected to see a mortgage rates go down. My colleague Christine Romans was talking about how the Federal Reserve is meeting today. They're not expected to raise interest rates. If anything, they might even cut interest rates, which means that 6.7% figure could go, go down even a little more. Yeah. Do you have any timeline on that? Because I know there are people who are out there in the market going, should I just go ahead and pull the trigger now, or should I wait a little bit, and will that be a smarter play? Yeah. Well, the Federal Reserve might be cutting interest rates yeah. later on this year, which means that they could see some of those mortgage rates come down later even as year. soon as this year. But again, we're not expected to see, unfortunately, those 3% rates anytime soon. Got it. All right, Brian, thank you so much. Perfect. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.